So welcome back to the Unza Sports Park for finals day at the Denisa Denmark Open. Just one more final to come. It is men's singles. The defending champion Kento Mamolta in his 10th final in his 13th tournament of the year. He's up against the Olympic champion Chen Long, four-time former winner here of the Denmark Open. Well, when we look at the race to Guangzhou standings in the men's singles, I can tell you that the top four have all contested at least three World Tour tournament finals each. And the interesting thing is that those final appearances have all happened for each of those four players in the last seven World Tour tournaments that they've played. Five of the players in that top 10 list were in the quarterfinals here, and I can tell you uh, that after this week in Denmark, the top three will remain the same. Obviously, whether Momota wins or loses today's final, he will consolidate his place at number one. Chen Long currently at number nine, the other finalists today. If he wins today's final, he will shoot up five places to number four. If he loses today's final, he'll only go up three places to number six. Victor Axel and will also move places, but it all depends on where Chen Long goes after today's final. Well, when we look at the draw from the quarterfinal stage, six different nationalities, three Danes involved, five seeds, but only one in the top half of the draw. And when you consider that we started the tournament with five former champions, three of whom lost in the first round, Lindan, Jano Jorgensen and Kidambi Shrikans all lost in the first round. So by quarterfinal stage, we only had two former champions, Chen Long and Momota. We had two beaten finalists from this Denmark Open. Cho Tien Chen, the number two seed, and Tommy Sugiato. So at semi-final stage, the Dame Victor Axelsen, the former world champion, lost agonizingly uh, late yesterday evening because he was up in that deciding game. But it means that uh, the four semi-finalists, players from four different nations, and I suppose we shouldn't be surprised about that, it's the top four in the world ranking are from four different nations. But it has set up a final with the only two former champions at the quarter-final stage of the draw. The defending champion, Kento Mamolta, up against the four-time former champion, Chen Long. Please welcome, from Japan, world number one and double world champion, Kendo Makmota! The defending champion, the reigning and two-time world champion, the left-handed Kendo Mamota. Won this title a year ago, beating Cho Tien Chen in a thrilling three-game final. From China, world number five and former Olympic and world champion, Chen Long! Chen Long in his fifth Denmark Open final. The four-time former champion in his third final of the year. But he's looking for his first title of 2019. Winner here in 2011, 13, 14, and 15, so he won three consecutive titles. For the last two years, he hasn't had the best of time here in Denmark. The last two years, he's lost in the first round last year to Unkar Long of Hong Kong. But this will be a tense meeting between these two players, and of the previous nine, Chen Long has won five of them. I think the important statistic is that the defending champion, the left-handed Kento Mamota, has won the last two encounters. The last time they met was the semi-final of the recent China Super 1000 event. It was an hour and 27 minutes for that semi-final in Changzhou. 21-16 in the deciding game. So a third final this year for Chien Long for Kento Momota, a 10th final in only his 13th tournament of the year. That is simply incredible. 
25 years of age now. The left hand, they turned 25 last month. And he was born in Chagawa on Shikoko Island, the smallest of the four main islands in southeastern Japan. World number one, it's his 56th consecutive week as world number one. Making his fifth appearance here at this event. And when we look at his matches so far, it was the quarterfinal, which was such a thriller against Rasmus Gemka. He was a game and 16-10 up, uh, but Gemka fought back winning that second game, 23-21, and it was 21-30 in the deciding game, an hour and 24 minutes. It really was fantastic. So to Chen Long, the number five seed in his fifth final year at the Denmark Open. Former world number one, 76 consecutive weeks as world number one, but currently number five on the world rank. And his two finals so far this year, beaten in the final of the Malaysian Masters of 500 event and the Malaysian Super 750, so he obviously likes playing in Malaysia. Well, he's been taken the full distance twice in the first round against Nisi Jacques of Malaysia. And then in the quarterfinal, he uh, beat last year's beaten finalist, Cho Tien Chen. Came from behind in both games, 12-14 down in both of those games against Cho. And the semi-final against uh, Victor Axelson was 5-13 down in the deciding game. Eight points adrift before he beat the day. 21-19 in the deciding game. So Gunas Nusferas from Latvia is our run past this one. Trish Gubb, the service judge from New Zealand. Well, I said it was late yesterday evening. It wasn't that late yesterday evening when Chen Long beat Victor Axelson. I think it's only about six or seven o'clock in the evening. Yeah. The day before. It was the day before. He the day ready. before was very late. Yes, he... he actually finished, gone midnight, yeah. beating Cho Tien Chen. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kento Momota, Japan. <laughs> and on my left, Chen Long, China. Kinto Momota to serve, love all, play. So the defending champion, Kento Momota, against the four-time former champion, Chen Long. Yeah, nice shot. Now, I thought Chen Long in his semi-final against Victor Axelson he actually lost the opening game to 12. And I thought he was looking very stiff at the start of the match. I didn't think he was moving particularly well. I know we've only had one rally, Morton, but he did seem to be struggling a little bit. Maybe as if he's not completely warmed up. Of course, he will have gone through a vigorous warm-up routine. But it is... Love. Now past the big 3-0 in sporting terms and at the age of 30 seems to be a watershed that people yes. seem to think that... But it does take longer to recover. That's the point. As you get older, it takes longer to recover. It does, but, you know, I it, I also have to add on to it that for all the years that we've been watching Chen, Chen Long play, we have... I, I cannot recall. I see him losing Three. due to physical... No. I cannot recall. No, me neither. So uh, maybe he's uh, getting a little bit more stiff and maybe he's not so agile as what he used to be some eight, ten years ago, but I still think that he is playing well. And I think if anyone has got the tools in the toolbox to beat Kento Momota, I think he's one of them. 
Chi Yu Chi can do it as well. We've seen that on a few occasions. But he's uh, out of the equation for the moment with that really bad angle injury. Yeah. The other one who's able to do it is Ginting. Ginting. But I, I really feel that uh, Chen Long has got what it takes which, it, when he's playing well. Oh, that is amazing. Um, to, to really hurt and Whoa. dent Momota. Yes. Disguise, punch clear. Yeah, it's a yeah. wonderful shot. Well, he he seriously could not have gone and placed it any better. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It is perfect. Turns over. But Chen Long cannot uh, leave all One, initiative to uh, Momota. Then he will score his, his winners. He's got to go out there and, and play a good counter-attacking uh, game with good defence, but when the chance is there, he must be able to finish it and uh, try to shake uh, Momota as best as he can. Oh. Yeah, he's missed that one. Two, four. And Momota this year has just, you know, year after year, yet last year as well, just winning one tournament after the other. Yeah. He, he's so consistent. Yeah, last year, 10 finals from 16 individual tournaments. Winning seven titles. He's already won eight titles this year. This year, yeah. Oh, that, that's uh, good. That's good. And I think he's sort of increasing the distance to the others as well. Yeah. Not only is he winning, not only is he consistent, Three, I think he is four. increasing the distance. Mm. Interesting. But that's not saying he can't lose. No. We've seen him lose. It can it can be done. Four all. Oh, my goodness, that stayed his side, you know. Yes, but what a remarkable shot from Chen Long. Five, four. He gets back the net cord. That is incredible. I was talking when his semi-final was on about his wonderful control back to the net, Chen Long. Yeah. I, I thought it was astonishing, and I thought that made the difference Six, in the final game against four. Victor Axelsson. Yeah, the, the good thing about Chen Long when he's playing well is that he's controlling the net quite nicely, even from lower positions. Yes. But he also lifts with really good proper length away from the net. So seven straight points now for Chen Long. Start of this seven. match. Four. He has started this match actually in better form than he did his semi final. Wow, eight straight points. I oh, seriously thought at Love Four Down, are we going to have a similar sort of match to the semi final eight. where? He dropped the opening game and, you know, then came back strongly in the end. But, I mean, this is incredible. It's a very good recovery here from uh, Chen Long. But I think he's actually doing what I mentioned could be a, a good option for him, playing with solid uh, defence. But when the opportunity is there, he's got to score. And that's what he's done. He's played some really nice winners. Serves over. Five, eight. Never, 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 never. That was good defence from Ken Long. 
off his right hip to swayed his body out of the way to give himself the freedom to play the shot. Nine, but he's five. lucky here because this one is going out. Mm. But Momota could get out of the way. about it and then decided not to go over. But it's interesting to see that Chen Long is choosing not to go cross court on his lift at all in this one. All the lifts were straight. So he's not giving a lot of options to uh, his opponent Momota. Seven, nine. It was interesting, he's been talking earlier this week, Chen Long, about how he's now got his motivation back because emotionally he went through a, not a difficult time when he and his wife were expecting a baby and now his son has safely arrived and he was saying, now I want to got my motivation back because I want to make my son proud. Ten, well, of course, his son is far too young to yeah. understand. But it's it's interesting how... You know, life outside of the badminton court has affected him, and he's he's openly admitted that. But he's he's a great athlete. I think yeah. he's a great ambassador for the game, and um, he you know we always see him in such sporting fashion that uh, yeah. it doesn't surprise me at all. Always oh, challenge here. Chen Long challenges called out. Well, he looks totally surprised by the call. Yeah, I think I think it's out. Yeah. Yep. Challenge what a great call by the line judge. One challenge remaining. Service over. Eight. Two men and on his coaching bench, the Chinese coaching Blake. bench, who have both been in finals here at the Denmark Open, men's singles finals. Long. So it is the number five seed, Chen Long, who has the advantage of the game in full. Ten minutes of play. So, Morton, as we can't understand any of the coaches, I'm going to give you a quiz question. Oh, another one. I know. I thought I was safe. I know you know the answer. Because Chen Long, he needs fifth final, which is impressive in itself, yeah. the most prolific men's singles finalist here at the Denmark Open is... I think he's sitting next to you. He is sitting next to me. <laughs> yes, of course, Morton. Thank you. 11 next finals, you. eight titles. But in all seriousness, he becomes the fourth player, men's singles player, to be in five or more finals. Yeah. No, 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 I've got 11, that wrong. Eight. Trying to become the fourth men's singles player to win five Please. or more titles. Obviously, you and the other two who've won more than five, five or more. Peter Gade? No. No. Ooh. Hmm. More than five. It will, 
It would be so tempting to say Lindan. Nope. Only one three. <laughs> Only. Um, this is a good rally, isn't it? It is. What a good rally. That's gone wide. That's got to be the longest rally of the match so far. I'll give you a clue. Both Danes. Nine, eleven. Okay. Five titles or more. Sven Pri. Yep. Well done. And the other one. Hmm. Still very much involved in badminton. Ah, so then it is. <laughs> Poor Eric. <laughs> yes, well done. Well done. I was, I was, you know, choosing between Erlen Cops, actually. Mm. The late Erlen Cops so died over. just a few years ago, 80 years of age. Well, no. Or Hoya Larsen. There's the lift you're talking about from a very, very tight net shot. Has this ability to get it right to the back of the court. Chen Long. Service over. 10, 12. Guess the correct side, didn't they? Uh, very often, uh, Kento Momota is uh, choosing to go uh, down the line from the around the head situation. So, if you have to guess, I think you cover that backhand, and uh, that's what Chen Long did. It's uh, almost statistics. Play. Ready to pounce. He was. Good play by Momota. Yeah, forced his opponent into error. Well, Simply by his movement. Now look, he's hovering, ready to pounce. Yeah, that one had to touch the top of the tape to have a chance. The back level. Super. And on a run of four straight points, 13, goes 12. back into the lead. of apology for his neck cord. Long. This one deflected by the neck cord. That's a good shot. 14, 13.
when Shenlong scored the nine points in a row, he was very attacking. It was actually only eight points. Only eight, yeah. okay. But he was, uh, he was more attacking. He, he, was, was. he was playing more winners on his smash. At the moment, uh, Kento Momoto is, is kind of neutralizing it. And I think uh, Chenlong have to find other ways, perhaps suddenly with a surprise attack, uh, just trying to explode and then back to normal again and then try to explode one more time. At the moment, it's uh, there are no surprises for, for Momota. controlled by Momota because there was a vicious spin on that deflected lift from Chen Long. 15-40. So when you, what you were talking about there, Morton, you were talking about injection of pace within the rally. Yes. I, I think that Chen Long really have to try to unsettle Momota a bit. Um, yeah, injecting pace now and again, suddenly take a chance because at the moment uh, it's very much same pace and no surprises from a motor and, and the motor is just running. Yeah. 16, 14. Is struggling to control the length race drift at the moment, Chen Long. 17, Last two 14. rallies, I think he's pushed long of that back line, hasn't he? He has. And the thing is that Momota is very much aware that uh, Chen Long has played well at the net uh, in this tournament and he's closing it down quite nicely. So he's forcing him to lift. Oh, that's magnificent. What a shot. Um, my motor. 18, 14. It's not. Oh, oh no, no, it's no, it's not. It's no, it's that not. That is just incredible. I think that's hitting both lines. And I think it might have done as well. 14. Phenomenal. Did well to control it, let alone to place it right into that deep corner. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I thought that may have been long, actually, looking at it again. Yeah, uh, perhaps. Oh. I think Chen Long would have challenged if he had any doubts at all. Well, this is extraordinary on a run of seven straight points now for Pinto Mamolka. He has six one point opportunities. What a very peculiar scoring pattern in this opening game. Take that eight straight points. 21-14 opening game to the defending champion, Pinto Momota. Twenty-one minutes.
second game. Lavo. Play. One love. Serves over. One all. Well, not only four-time former champion, it should be remembered that Chen Long has never lost a final here at the Denmark Open. Oh, unbelievable. What a defensive shot from the motor. Yeah. He's got the patience uh, to play. Of course, he's got fantastic shots to follow with it. He seems physically on top. He scores when he really goes for it. He's a tough man to beat today. Mm. No, he's missed it. No, no. The umpire is getting that one wrong. Yeah. One. He was called out. I think the second half of that opening game Four, with one. Momota winning so many uh, straight points, I felt that part of what he was doing, he was oh. moving his opponent more than Chen Long was able to move yeah. Momota. Yes. Making him move the diagonals, making him twist and turn. And then, as I say, the surprise element is coming in now and again, and uh, that's unsettling the situation for so any over. opponent playing him. Broken string. I think Chen Long is in a little bit of panic, if you can say that. He doesn't know where to get the points from. Five, no. Two. You know, he played a very, very tight net shot. 
and you can just see my motor go up. Okay, no, I'm not playing the net. I lift it. And, and Chin Long had to move all the way in to close the net down. Mm. And then my motor just lifted and said, okay, we play again. Yeah. He doesn't know where to get the points from at the moment. Six, well, that's certainly two. not helping his cause. Play by Chen Long. Good smash down the line here. Stretching uh, Momota to the maximum, and this time the Japanese can't get it back. But this is the kind of shots that we need to see from a Chen Long if he should have any chance of winning this match. He's got to go so close to the lines and really really hope that everything is going well for him. It's a, it's a tall order, I think, that Momota is putting enormous pressure on his opponent Three, today. Seven. to watch out now and the 11 3 11 4 lead for Momota here at the mid-game interval that could be very very decisive yeah I agree that's good play of the net there from Mekin Long and as I said earlier this is what he's got to do he's got to play these spinning net shots at the net creating Four, winners smashes eight. on the lines that's the only option he's got You can try to rally the motor, but I don't think it will work in these uh, playing conditions. Up. Service over. Nine, four. And that's also going wide. And there's no doubt when you're watching Kenta Momota, you just see what a wonderful athlete he is, how he's moving on the court, how he's playing his shots, always being in balance. Yeah. Um, he, he's a great, great athlete. Yeah. And four. And he's doing all this with a minimum of energy spent. Yeah, but look at the the lift. Yeah, yeah.
on this rally so far. Five, oh, that's good judgment. Ten. Yep. It's one of the few times we've seen when uh, Chen Long has been patient that he has uh, won the rally. Good finish here by Chen Long. Very strong smash to the backhand side. I actually think that Momota was kind of anticipating it on the forehand side, and that's why it was so good. Oh, good well to get that back. Yeah, and with good length. Mr. So, Kento Mamota goes to the mid-game interval with a five-point advantage. Five minutes into the match. Interesting as well, Mamota here. Backhand clear to the centre of the court. Really inviting Chen Long to try and find an angle, and he overdid it. Yeah, he, he's playing a bit of percentage here. He knows that uh, Chen Long probably also knows that he's got to go close to the lines, go close to the tape. Mistakes will creep into the game of Chen Long. And, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. it was just a current. Chinese players were contesting three finals, and I'm not writing off Chen Long because I've learned that over the years. You <laughs> never, yeah. never no, no, write no. him, which was uh, emphatically reminded to us all yes, yesterday yeah. when he was 13 5 down in the deciding game. 11, but six. if Chen Long doesn't win this, then Play. China will leave without a title yes, here. Yes, I've seen that. And the fact is, it would only be the third time this century that China has left the Denmark Open without a title. It happened in 2005, but I'm not sure how many Chinese players entered in 2005. It happened again in 2016. Hmm. But this, I think, could be a sign of... We've already talked about it in, in the doubles, how Korea is very strong at the moment, but not as strong as Japan. That's wide. Yeah. It, it, I was just intrigued by the rally, which is why I, I paused there. But when you think going back a few years, we heard rumours that the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, were saying Seven. we were a one-nation well. sport. Mm. Things have changed. Absolutely. So many more countries can win. Yes. Yeah. Over. You're right. He's run out of ideas. Chen Long doesn't know 13, what to do. Seven. He's going for things. It's so unlike Chen Long's style because normally he works the rally and he's he's going for winners before he's actually got his opponent out of position. Or Yeah, but the problem is his normal style is not working. Mm. The thing is that uh, Momota has won most rallies at the net. Uh, He's got good defensive shots, good counter-attacking shots. Chen Long himself Sir. makes mistakes on occasions. He knows that he's just got to go out there and play with more risk. Chen Long.
Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, I suspect Momota's net shot was so tight to the net, he couldn't lift it. Yeah, and therefore he, he's he forced, had to. Yeah, he's forced to go across. Yeah, but it was simply too loose. Well and just a, a reminder, I've said it earlier, Momota is winning most of the rally, uh, of the net exchanges. He is winning most of them. Lovely block from Chen Long. This one here gives it a little bit of extra, well, I was going to say extra height, but it hit the top of the tape. But he, he had yeah. nothing, not much to feed off, and I think yeah. that's why he had to give it a little bit extra, but he did so well yeah. to adjust. Serve is over. 16 10. Initially, Momoto was going to challenge that. I don't think Momoto has challenged all match. Oh, that's well judged. Well left. Serve is over. Time is running 17. out for the four-time former champion. back so quickly got himself in the position to play the winner 18, I didn't think it was such a bad 11. return of serve in fact I think it was a good return of serve just an indication of how quick Momota is Oh, he's missed it. Yeah. yeah, that's a big Serve miss. Hey, he can afford it. 12, 18. Thank you. So one really feels this is now or never as far as Chen Long is concerned. Well, he's got to have 18. a significant run of points right now. points away from his second consecutive 12. title here for Kinto Momota.
match point opportunities. First time of asking, and Kento Momota becomes the sixth different men's singles player to win consecutive titles here at the Denmark Open. Along with my friend and colleague Morten Frost, Paul Eric Boyer, Chen Long, Tana Kwan, and Lin Dan. What an achievement, what a year he is having, his ninth title of the year. And he's won in style, 21-14, 21-12, in a match lasting just 44 minutes. Once again, he was ready to pounce. He was. And once again, he was winning the net exchange. Yeah. Look at the delight for Kento Momota. Confirmation of that scoreline. 44 minutes for 21 14, Ladies and 21 12. We are now ready for the main singles prize giving ceremony. Well, we've talked in the past, Morton, about the dominance of Linda in world terms, I'm talking in uh, uh, the Super Series era and now World Tour and Lee Chong Wei. Yes. I think this man is... He is on his way. He's on his way. Absolutely. He is going to be very, very tough to beat in the years to come. And the silver yeah. medalist from China, Chen Long. In his fifth Denmark Open final. The full time and the champion this year Elisa, has to settle Denmark for second Open best. 2019 with, with a final score of 21 14, 21 12 from Japan, Kendo Mamota. His ninth title of the year, Kendo Mamota. This is second consecutive Denmark Open title. Presented by Victor, medals and trophies are presented by Mr. Paul Eric Hoyer. President of Badminton World Federation. Paul Eric Hoyer presenting the prizes. He was in eight finals here, winning six of them and three consecutive titles. But a second consecutive title for the left handed the Kento Momota. A wonderful achievement. Mascot are presented by Jeff Chen, President of Victor Global. The local gifts and flowers are presented by Martin Peterson, Head of Sports and Culture in Ornsa. Ladies and gentlemen, your medalist at the Denisa 2019 Denmark Open presented Hi, Victor. So six Denmark Open titles between these two men. Well, quite simply, this man today I thought was brilliant. I have really, really enjoyed it. And uh, you always ask me. Favourite moments? Favourite moments. First of all, I think we should spare a thought for Chen Yufei. Yes, definitely. 
It was wonderful to see Ang Seyong play against Carolina Marin. She did. I know I mentioned her earlier, but I think she has played really well. Yeah. And then uh, I, I think in the women's doubles, the surprise win from the Koreans, but of course, Jung Kyung Yong, she played awesomely. And Rasmus Gemke in the men's singles against the winner here of today, Kenta Momota. Yeah. When he took I, a game of him. Yeah, I agree with you on all some of Some of, the, mo some of yeah, the moments. I agree with you on all fronts there, Morton. Well, I think we can just about hear from Kenta Momota. We'll try right again. Now. With sound this time. Kento Momota, so dominating in this final. What worked out so well for you today? えっと、uh, yeah, so yesterday's uh, uh, Chen Long uh, was a very tough like, 